I think there are several things that make this research um, valuable and, and exciting. Um, the first is that it's, um, it brings together all of the significant research which has actually been done on well-being into one place and it makes it accessible to people working in organisations who would other fi otherwise find that very difficult to access. Um, I think the second is that it gives very practical guidance on um, what organisations can do to start their journey on the wellbeing agenda or if they're already on it to evaluate how effectively they're actually approaching the issue. It very, very clearly makes the case that uh, not investing in well-being is a huge economic issue for employers and it has a very, very significant impact on bottom line um, profitability. So if you take one very simple statistic from the research, which is that uh, the, um, uh, ev uh, the average cost of illness per employee for every employer is somewhere between six and seven hundred pounds. It depends on what sector you're in. But if you multiply that by um, the number of employees that you have, the impact in large organisations is, is many millions of pounds, which is, is wasted money, and that doesn't even take account of the loss of productivity um, but from the loss of working days when people are actually ill. Some of the research that we, we're drawing on shows that um, em employers um, were seeing quite marked reductions in levels of sickness, reduced um, absenteeism, reduced accident levels, uh, that they were um, reducing the turnover of staff. So there's, there's a very strong case um, that people in organisations can use to, to show that this is not um, an investment which is a nice to have. It actually has a very, very solid impact on, on profitability. One of the um, case studies that we carried out in the research was with um, one of the major banks, they're not a million miles from here, um, and we spent quite a lot of time talking to them about how they were approaching their, their well-being strategy and some of the challenges that they were um, addressing. Um, I think probably two or three things really stand out about what this organisation was doing and why it was important. Um, one is that they were, they were trying to renegotiate their relationship with their employees and it had been, their, their approach conventionally had been um, to offer very, very good benefits packages including a, a well-being offer as a way of holding on to high-flying um, talent in financial services. Um, they, they needed to change that in part because the, the market had changed, the employment market had changed, um, but they'd also merged with, with another bank where there was a very different culture at work. And so they, they wanted to renegotiate their relationship towards one of um, partnership, of mutual responsibility. Uh, and to, to redefine their role as a provider and a catalyst for change, but to put the responsibility very firmly with their, with their employees.